Hey, my little stars and plants, it's me, Chibisar here. Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. We are about to do this shrine here. Mid air perch. Oh. 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 So we can do some mid air stuff here, mid air shenanigans. Put you here. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take you as well. And I, I'm gonna stick you to that. And I'm gonna take you because I'm just that greedy. Here we go. And we'll stick you to this. And I'll hop up you. And I'll hop up you. And I'll hop up you. <laughs> doodly doodly doodly. And then I'm gonna take both of you with me. Because why not? Also, I'm noticing that they're not taking any battery power. I'm wondering if the Zonai devices don't take any battery power while in shrines. I'm guessing not? I don't know. I think they have. Well, they're not now, so I'll just be thankful for that. Uh, another, another one for my collection. Here we go. And oh, I'm just gonna take this. Is this uh, good enough? Yeah. <laughs> I was probably supposed to use uh, this in conjunction with that because I could alter hand that thing over there. But you know what? Screw that. I'm just gonna use these because uh. Why not? They're working for me, aren't they? Uh. Oh. And... Huh. And doodly doodly doodly. Do. Don't think I'm leaving you behind. You're still coming with me. You know, there's more up here. I'm just gonna make this longer and longer. You can't stop me. You gave me the ability to do this. So you have no right to stop me anymore. I'm just gonna keep adding to it. And there's not a damn thing you can do. And let's get you there. Come on. There we go. And you. Attach that. And then this. Here we go, and perfect. Now, let's see if, <laughs> if this long, unstable contraption bridge, perfect bridge, probably not the way they wanted you to do this, yep. but it's the way I did it. Perfect bridge. <laughs> I love the Zonai devices, I say. As I'm also hating them deeply. See, that was cool. That was fun. Love doing chilly shit like that. Na -na 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 -na. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, now we can uh, head on over to Toto Lake, which I believe is my green tag. So I'm hoping that we can make it from here. Because I'm pretty sure the waterfall next to Toto Lake is sludge filled. So we're going to have to go the direct approach of just going directly to it. The monster outpost here, but I don't know. You know what? Screw it. We're going to We're going to ruin their days. Why not? Oh. Oh dear. That's a explosive explodey. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> um 
Oh, get out of there, get out of there. There's explosive everything. Everything in there is explosive. A boomerang, a decayed wooden boomerang. Useful too when it comes to throwing. Gonna, sorry, sacrifice you for the boomerang. I have to sacrifice you for the greater good. Wait, okay. where are you? <laughs> you jumped into the fire and now you're dying. And now you're dead. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, hey, where did you come from? Because you're dead now. Another boomerang. I'm gonna take this meat. Uh, where are those Oh, the zeros are coming from you. Oh, oh I was gonna say I, I went too far, but I got him. A lizzle bow, a wooden bow created by Lizalfos. It's reinforced by bones of large fish. Mar a marked improvement over any standard wooden bow. All right, I took that. Awesome. Um, because I have to drop it now to compendium it. We have a few things we got to compendium now. Uh, we'll just get this real quick. There we go. Uh, um, we'll take it. Oh, it's our most powerful one now. Uh, pretty sure. Well, I'm just gonna double check just to make sure. Okay. All right. Um. Wait, did I do this one as well? Just sorry, I'm just double checking, and my memory is faulty. Um. Oh yes, the boomerang. There we go. I love the boomerang. It's such a fun little weapon. Um, did we get anything else? I don't think so. Or we didn't get anything new. To my knowledge. Alright, um, let us... I'm going to... Hmm. You know what? We'll drop a lizzle horn. And then... Boom. Now we got a Lizzle Boomerang. <laughs> okay. Um, I do want to smash these crates, but there are explodey barrels here. So we will just have to uh, chuck these out of here. Fuck! I am so dumb. I was way too close to the blast. Also, you may have noticed I have cooked up a storm here. I totally forgot to mention that in the last episode. But between... But... Before I recorded the last episode, I did a shit ton of cooking. There we go. There we go. Down the hill. There we go. Yeah, I need those arrows. There we go. Alright, all the there's a couple more of them up here. Yes. I ha I have the high ground. Not really, but you know what I mean. I mean you're dead. Ow. Excuse me, did I say you could hit me? I did not. So why are you hitting me? I did not give you permission. Because now, you're dead. Eh, not fully dead, but you... Yo. There's more of them. They're everywhere. Now you're dead. Yeah, give me those arrows. There we go. Oh, silent room. I'll grab you. Ooh, treasure chest. I'll take that. And I'll take you. A Lionel boomerang? A decayed wooden boomerang. Oh, it's a lion. 
so it has a lionel horn? I'm sorry, Lizzle Boomerang, you have to go. <laughs> you gotta go. That's fucking epic. Oh man. I am nowhere, nowhere near ready to fight my first Lionel. Okay, I don't, I, I don't know what silly shit the Lionels have cooking up, but I mean, I'm definitely not ready. I'm nowhere near ready. I need like an inventory full of like fucking 50 plus weapons. Uh, where am I going? There's stuff here. Let's take this. All right. Okay, and thank you. And uh, now let's continue heading towards the green. Oh, water fruit. Awesome, we're gonna need more of that. Huh? I'm not gonna waste it on this sludge though. Squawk! Okay, he said he's near Toto Lake. This is Toto Lake. So let's, let's delete this pin. Alright. Um, so I guess we search around. Oh! Are you the guy I'm supposed to meet? I will never understand the way of historians cannot be- he cannot conduct the investigation more cautiously. Okay, so you're not the one. Oh, my dear, I certainly hope that you did not overhear me. I'm grumbling to myself like that. It's not as it sounds, really. Uh. Jihato keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. It makes things quite difficult for me. As it is my job to guard him. That is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Ruins. All right, do you see that opening there? Ah. The cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval and that revealed these ancient ruins. Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Gianho Gento is a historian, so it's kind of this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and completely transfixed by the ruins. Alrighty then, so I'm just gonna head on over there, grab this water fruit. Or splash fruit, sorry. Hey, oh, aren't you the old guy who was trying to get that electrical arrow from Breath of the Wild? He kept zapping himself. This dignified presentation, yes, the writing looks l like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zona Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I can't decipher it. Ah, Link. My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made an monumous discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it as it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tired. Okay, so then I guess I have to find the broken piece then? And sorry for my reading. I know I'm a terrible reader. I'm just, I'm tired, and I'm also a terrible reader. You can't throw big words at me. I got, I got little brain. Oh. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's trapped. It's trapped under the sludge. The sludge is so thick. Here we go. Oh, come on, Link. I'm glad it was nearby. <laughs> what is this? The stone slate. Oh, Link, you. I must thank you. 
Oh, incredible. I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks, you see a droplet waits for you. Though this droplet shoot through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the skies. Though, in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorfin. I assume that he will be returning to his investigation of the sludge shortly. Alright, mission complete! And I'm guessing I'm supposed to go talk to King Dorfin, as he just literally mentioned him. So, we gotta head back to Zora's Domain. First, I'm gonna collect all the shiny things over here. Any more collectibles, plants, food, weapons? Anything? No? Okay. And we could teleport. Oh, he's carrying Lizalfos. Uh, we could teleport, or we could just, uh, you know, fly on over here. Let's see if we can't land on top of the fan. If we can land on top of it, we'll investigate, because in Breath of the Wild, they put a Korog seed up here. So, I want to see if it's still there, or if they changed it. Because, like, I feel like they would hide, an they would keep another one hidden up here. They always like to hide them in the most inconvenient spots. Oh, oh, yeah, I called it. Uh, see, I told you, Korok expert here. I I know how they think. I I I have the brain of a <laughs> leaf. So I know how they think. And if you know how they think, you know how to find them. I'm pretty sure there was another one down here as well, right? There was one in the crown of this fish. No, they got rid of this one? Alright. It makes sense that we keep one up there, because it's a very difficult place to get to. Hey, yo. King Dorfin, where you at, bro? Oh, you're, you're not here. King Dorfin's super, super punch and super kick. hey yeah, hey yeah. It's so big and strong. Oh no, I got beat. The sludge is too yucky. Oh, you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot. And that spot is... Huh? What's up, guy? We're full We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dwarfin game. We can't keep, play can't keep playing with you here, so take the hint and, and scram. Okay, so those kids obviously know where King Dorfin is, but they're gonna be like those Gerudo ladies from Breath of the Wild, and they're not gonna tell their secrets when I'm out in the open. So if I sneak up on them like this? Is... Oh. Damn. Wait, can I... Hold on. Can I hide in King Dorfin's throne? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, deep. Well, I mean, that makes sense. He's a giant, giant fish person. Ah, listen. I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfin, um, pretty please. Um, oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play M Muzu and the monster. Not all by myself. Aww. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfin is hiding, what kind of place is it? <laughs> I know, right? I asked King Dorfin about it once. Uh, he said it was a pristine sanctum or something. Pristine sanctum? So I guess it's a spot with clean water? 
somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Oh, oh, I heard there's been, there's clean water flowing somewhere between Palmas Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind a waterfall too. How cool is that? The secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water. That sounds pretty amazing. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Muzu told us we could never ever tell anyone. It's fine. No one's listening. Anyways, let's go through our game again. This time with feelings. Uh, can't we play something else? Yeah, there we go. You little brats. Don't... Just... What are they saying? I don't know. But, um, I definitely didn't hear anything. You can't prove that at all. You can't prove anything. So... Secret base is somewhere... But between here and Palmas Mountain. They said clean water and a waterfall. So there's three waterfalls here. Is that a waterfall? That looks like a waterfall to me, but. And there's a waterfall here too. So I'm gonna go. Cause I, I swam up these waterfalls here and I didn't really see a secret entrance or anything like that. Normally I would go up here and I'd search each waterfall up to down, but my gamer sense is tingling and it's telling me that's a waste of time. Or maybe it is here because I didn't go up this waterfall. I went up these waterfalls, so maybe it's this waterfall here. Go look it out. The tiny waterfall. Tiny, meek, and pathetic waterfall with nothing behind it. All right. So then my first suspicion is probably correct. Uh, I'm going to kill this fish and claim it as my food. Oh, there's a chest under there. Uh... Sorry, I don't know if this is your chest, but it's my chest now. Topaz, great. I can sell that. So, I mean, I didn't get a good look behind these waterfalls, but I feel like if they had, had no. Oh, what is that? I was just saying, like they wouldn't um, put a secret entrance behind these waterfalls. Yeah, well, you can kind of see through them. These ones, and I didn't see one, so maybe it's this. Maybe this is it. Oh shit! <laughs> it is. Holy shit! But didn't they say it was behind a waterfall? This is next to one. I was gonna say, I was gonna go check out down here because we went up these waterfalls and I didn't see anything. So that left this waterfall and this waterfall. That waterfall was a bust. So I was gonna check out this waterfall. Maybe I was supposed to do that? Did I just find a, a, a cheat entrance? How would they even put this one here? Uh huh. I'm trying to figure out where I should land. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Oh wait, is that the entrance? So wait, where am I? Oh, so it was this waterfall? I thought it was gonna be like this waterfall. I don't know, we're gonna leave through that way just to see what waterfall we were supposed to go. Yeah, who approaches? Is that you? So it is Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever loyal Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. Dorfin, King of the Zora, who has seen better days. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, this crazy shit happened to me. Well, well. To think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do you... Do not sully our ears with your lies. 
I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomena at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what has happened when we last saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Hmm. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. Pigdorfin valiantly vanquished the threat, however... He was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the King Zora, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, even Princess Zelda, it may well be the answer to these riddles. Can, riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Giotto, a historian, a well acquainted ruin investigator. I wonder if you. Oh, yeah, I already talked to him. And he's crazy, bro. He's crazy. <laughs> Ah, oh, so you already spoke with Giotto. You say the mark of the king was mentioned in the stone slate that was restored? Hmm, indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to a Zora king's scale, one of my scales in another word. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in, ancient, in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it is used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is as nothing to me. If you run out, simply return to require more. Wahaha. Okay. Oh, he gave me five scales. King of scales. Zora's king bears his scales upon their forehead. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed. They're once used in ancient Zora ceremonies. After all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps in the time, perhaps, perhaps the time is near, nearing for me to pass the title to King on to Sidon. Jesus. King Dorofin. In any case... That is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alrighty then. So then we will... Wait, you said I can come back for skills anytime. What if I come back now? Princess Zelda, the center of the sky, Mark of the King, hmm. Uh. Oh, you've been reunited with the Zora armor, a fitting garment for a hero of your caliber. Yet I doubt that you came here to simply show me your armor. Um. I'm just wondering, can I get more from you? Oh, okay. Never mind. Because you already told me about the scales and about... Zelda. I was just wondering, because you said I could come back any time to get more skills from you. So... Oh, damn. I was hella wrong. I thought the the entrance was going to be right here. It was here? Well, I guess... Uh, I guess it is harder to see through this waterfall. But that's... Bro, that's just... That's just me. I would I would have been searching in the wrong place. I would have been all the way down here, dicking around. Apparently my gamer sense is not as good as it once was. 
Sidon, buddy, I got some big important news for you. Oh, that is Zora armor. It's simply perfect on you. I have no doubt that it will help you in your search for Princess Zelda. Speaking of, have you found anything? This shit happened. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? <laughs> and that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concerns overcome us. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Princess Zelda... Princess Zelda descending from the skies, not to mention the monster and the filthy sludge, it all seems our course is skyward. We now know that the mark of the king written on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that the land on of the land of the skyfish and the floating rock that shaped like a droplet. Standing upon the land of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that the location of the land of the skyfish will be leading us to the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Yes. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Okay, so we have to look for the floating fish sky land, as he said a billion bajillion times already, so... I'm assuming they say, you know, skyfish. I'm assuming it's in the sky. No, I went down. <laughs> Gotta go up. So, where are we? We... So, Zokala Sky Archipelago, that's that's the archipelago for here. Pretty sure this is where the sludge is coming from, because we're right above Zora's Domain, right? Yeah. Uh, oh! Now, call me crazy, but that looks like a fish. This looks like a fish. So I'm just gonna... Um, well, sorry, wrong buttons. Here we go. Okay, so it's that island. And it's got a waterfall. So... Maybe I can use my Zora... My awesome Zora armor to get into it. Where does it go? Oh. Doesn't go all the way down. Oh, maybe we can make it from here. Because... If we do paraglide into the water, it'll go up. I mean, is that why they added that? So they could do stuff like this? Oh man, that's cool. Or what? Or could you paraglide? Well, well, maybe you could have. Well, I'm wondering if you could do this in Breath of the Wild. If you could paraglide in and, um, and use the Zora Armor's ability. I think you could, but you would have to press a button. With this, it's automatic. As soon as I go into it, um, okay, is there anything special here? Am I wasting water fruit? I don't know, it just seems like this would be the spot where something w would be hidden. Some secrety secret, no? Okay, so I'm supposed to be looking for a tear shape rock nice nice collection of floating rocks you got here any of them tear shaped uh i'll go take photos of those birds in a minute first i gotta find the oh 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 i see so you want to be like that do you Oh wow, his his scale is not very powerful on the power scale. But Lizalfel's talent is stronger than this. Hmm. And boom. I was not expecting that sound effect. Oh shit. <laughs> Bullet time on an arrow, that's awesome. Diddly diddly do. Okay then. I don't know what that did exactly, but um... We did a thing! I'm assuming we have to go tell Sidon, but first I'm gonna go over here and take photos of these birds. 
because these birds oh dear lord this bird oh i already have photos of these birds um can i get a better photo of these birds come back fly around fly back around this way oh that's this one's a little bit more clearer because it's like blue skies. We could keep this one. I I don't think the sky is right for this. It's sunset, so the sky looks kind of murky to me. All right, let's uh. Oh, there's a, a box over here. I guess we can smash it. Ah, uh, I can't jump in the sludge. The sludge man got my ankles, man. Two arrows, not bad. Okay, so we gotta go back to Mifa's court. So, huh. can I land on these? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Can I? No, wrong button. Can I use? No. I'm just, just wondering. You never know. Yeah, because see, look, there's like three sludge pillars going up to the archipelago, so pretty sure that's the cause of our struggle and strife. Boom. Where's Sidon? You're not Sidon. What? Oh, there he is. Lady Yona. It is far too dangerous for you to be here. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Hello there, Link. What happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light, as I, just, as I was just about to say. For a long time, I have been concerned that you have been holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if... You and Link join your powers. I'm certain you shall be able to overcome whatever dangers await. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true. However, uh. whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? Hmm. It, it is simply that... What row? Huh? Well, that's not good. Ambusher of Mipha's court. Sludge-like. That's a... I and I thought they were ugly before. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon, we can take care of the water at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You might... You might... You are right, as ever. It is up to you, milady. Link, please... I must ask that you fight at my side once more. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly, We, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Sidon's power of water. When Sidon's aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water that blocks an incoming enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, the water will be channeled in a long-range strike. Okay, well, first, obviously, sorry. Okay, here. Oh, no, look, here, it says, let's go. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, um, can I use my splash fruit on it? Oh, that's... I don't... No, I don't want to throw that. Ah, uh, that works. Uh... Hmm... I don't know. Oh, yeah. The Lionel Boomerang, yes. 
Come on, big boy, show me that beautiful... I don't know what it is. I don't even want to guess what it is. We got this, we got this side on. Come on, keep striking it. Ugh, it's got stubby little legs, that's gross. Where'd it, where'd it, oh. Wait, where is it? Where is it, there it is. Oh, I missed by a mile. No, 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 oh. Stop it, stop it, you're hurting me. Okay, come on, show me that pretty smile of yours. Sidon, get over here. Attack! We did it! Yeah! I hate it. I hate that it has little legs. I hate that. I hate it. Oh. You did it, Link! Take that, foul beast of sludge! Is everyone alright? We are unharmed. Thank goodness. Lady Yona, if something had happened to you, I... Ahem. In any case, it's possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider that Sir Link's... Uh, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you ever... Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long we shall be just fine but side on my darling i truly appreciate what you, that you worry so for my safety it speaks uh, to the kindness in your heart but you are the prince of the zora one day you will lead the people of your beloved domain i can see right through you whether you want me to or not you are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Enough is enough! You are acting like... You are not acting like yourself. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always do. Yes, yes. It is all right. I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I see. And there it is. Clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once losing someone I love. I. I. Ah-ha! You are right, Yona. I will not give in to this fear. Nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm so glad. All this time, he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha, my poor tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared of losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last, the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. I don't. I still don't trust you. I think you wanted him gone so that you could poison all of Zora's domain. She's the true villain of the story. A royal claymore, a large sword is decayed. Um, hold on. I will take that. Hold on. Oh. Decayed royal family guard. Um, let's see. 24, 21, 19, 13, 
11, 10. They're elementals, so they're safe. Uh, guess the hammer's gotta go, bro. But of course, obviously, we gotta do our little routine, you know? You know pull it back. And click. Oh, I already took a photo. Okay, uh, keep the old one. The old one's better. My bad. My B. But, oh, man. I'm pretty sure I said this before, but the decay, man, it looks both cool and disgusting. Um, well then. Let us use this. Fuse. Oh. Wrong weapon. There we go. Oh, okay. I, I fuse the other one with the same thing. All right. All right, all right, all right. We'll use this for now. Just as for weaker enemies. All right. So. We're getting closer to whatever secrets are being held up there. And I, I, didn't, I didn't mention this before, but Zelda... Unleashing the sludge monster on King Dorfin. That's a little... I don't know. That's weird. Oh, it's Mifa's statue. Oh, they moved it up here. Well, it is Mifa's court after all. Um, uh, I came up here because it's easier to jump down to the reservoir from here. But yeah, but, she, but Zelda has to have a reason. She has to have some reason. She doesn't. She doesn't go doing this and that on a whim. But I don't think that the Zelda that's popping up around Hyrule is the real Zelda, because I don't know. Because she's in the past. I think this is just because they kept mentioning her sheer will. Like when I was when I met her in the. Uh, when I met her in the shrine, like, he's like, oh, that was just a remnant of her will and whatnot. And, um, I don't know. I just think it's, like, her will or something, like, her spirit. I don't think it's her, her. I think she's still in the past, probably. Uh, okay, let's talk, Sidon. Let's talk it out. So that is the clue for reaching the sky. Okay. Just now. What was that? Never mind. Now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? I have an it. Oh, the cutscene. Alright, Sidon. I didn't know you could just do that, make fucking vortexes underwater, but let's let's go. Oh shit. I see. Where the fuck are we? Okay. Okay, so... I see rocks. And rock beats rock. Ah. 
So we're doing water puzzles, eh? Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! <laughs> Man, that did not hold my weight. That thing, tipsy. I can see all the water dropping down, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to climb any of these surfaces. I don't have any. Ooh, ancient Zora waterwork. Yeah. All right. So I guess I have to just destroy these things. Uh, ultra hand. that there. <laughs> okay then. Oh, there I go. I'm going to bring you closer. Connect you. I'm going to make myself a little raft here. Oh, come on, Link. Pull it closer. There we go. No, not under. Here we go. Actually, I probably should. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's something under there. Is that just, or is that just a rock? That's just a rock, I think. Yeah, a rock. Oh, there's another thing over there. Yoki, and then take you and put you over here after I yeah oh come on link link come on there we go no link link just doesn't like cooperating sometimes ladies and gentlemen just you gotta give him a moment. He's gotta work through his shit real quick. Okay. Uh, more boards. More problems. I'm a smart cookie. Huh? Yeah. Awesome. So the water rose up more. I can now take you. Zora shield. Yes, please. Do I have this in my compendium, though? I don't think I do. I don't! There we go. We'll keep this one equipped, though. Oh. We're an ultra hand. Ugh. So far away. You. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, where do we go from here? Is that thing the end goal? that giant thing in the middle, or is it that giant hole in the wall? Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't have any anti-slip. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Let's grab the thing. We can use the thing, maybe. Hopefully. My little bridge thing that I've been building. 
Because who needs climbing when you have ramps? Am I right, boys? There we go. Yeah. here did, did my recording just fuck um my my t my tv screen went black so i don't know if the recording's okay i'm just gonna pause and restart real quick all right okay so we should be good hopefully i don't know like the tv went black but the recording didn't, but I heard a pop in my headphones. So I don't know, but uh, we're gonna. But I'm pretty sure we're at our time limit, anyways. We're probably a little over our time limit, but um, but uh, let's just see what's in this giant hole first. Because I think I can put this. Yeah! Yeah, I'm the smartiest smart person in the world. And it's a bunch of bars and a chest. Great. Awesome. And it's just an opal. Great. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to end this video here. Um... Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the dark side of the moon. Bye!